Konnichiwa Mina! It's 1847 as our truce with Berman Dynam are getting closer, closer to being over with. And I also cut our my navy down a bit too to maybe save some money since I'm not gonna be needing any um transport anytime soon since I'm pretty sure like everyone like you guys are steered by the British. The Dutch are way too strong. You're well you might be attackable still. You're British spear, British spear, Spanish spear. You're probably like the only other option left, so I don't got much options left, so I just decided to get rid of the navy that way I can save some money too since you still gotta spend a lot to maintain the navy even though um you're not fully supplying them. And also I noticed too that I'm very friendly too with the British. You can see they're like on the verge of possibly steer me, and my thought was really street I mean weird is they've invested five thousand pounds into me. Now when a country invests in you, you get they get um they can sphere you and get more um, get more points to possibly spear you, but the the only ways that I know of they can spear you is either building railroads or factories. Now they can't build factories in me because I'm uncivilized. But when I look all I've looked all over the place for railroads and I have not seen anything yet, even close. So I don't know where that five thousand came from. But hey, if they can spear me, good luck. That'll be good because that would save me too. Possibly from getting attacked because if the British spear me and if I'm attacked, they could likely um join my side. All right, let's see now how much. Yeah, I saved like half the money too from getting rid of those um steam tra I mean, the transports. That was pretty good. But of course, we're still not making the money we need, unfortunately. And of course, um, I'm hoping to eventually like rebuild the um would like to be able to rebuild the um military too before they attack because they're much more stronger than us right now. Maybe I'll go train over here instead of intellectuals. Because our um, research points got squashed in the last like bunch of um, years or so because of events happened. But hey, our militancy is going down, which is very needed. But it looks like our... um Is that... Yeah, it's going down, but... Okay, they're both going down. They're just very slow. But actually, you're going both up and down, so I don't know what to say about that one. But you're going up too, that's good. So let's see. Because the Siamese reactionaries still have a 3.5% chance any day now to revolt. And I need to prepare for that. And of course, I've made a little bit of money so far this year, but still in the red, unfortunately. And our research point is almost going up a point every five months. Got a diplomatic point, so. Hey, Creaser. Hey, maybe I could form an alliance with them. Come on, say it. Ow! Oh, and why not? Oh my goodness. Well, yeah, it's not surprising. Uncivilized. All right, then. Um, let's see. How's China going? And of course, they're still not going to accept. Yep, of course not. Like, too many alliances. Hmm. I'm gonna try to bridge again, because if I'm happier with them, they'll be much more likely to spear us, make it much more quicker. All right, speaking of which. What are my alliances? Let's see if I can find them. Because I got three. The problem is... Well, you're my puppets. You always help me. You're weak, though. And you're out in the ocean. You're not even um, able to get on here. Well, actually, you... I don't know. You may be, be able to, but I don't think so. So, you're not really that helpful, pretty much. And if I get rid of your alliance, that doesn't necessarily mean China or whoever is going to ally with me. I think we got just a month left. As our research points are like, we can't decide like which direction to go and stuff. Like two A first two seventy nine. Um, let's see, how much do we need for a reform? That's why we needed to get some um, do um, get um forts built. Same goes for um navy too. I mean, naval bases. But of course, that's uh, going to cost a lot. And of course, I probably need to do economic reforms, but they're going to cost a lot. Oh, jeez, not this again. Um. I don't think they would go to war with us over deck because we're so far away from them. But at the same time, we'll lose a lot of prestige. Alright, so, um. And I don't need any more militancy, so I guess take the relationship decrease and prestige and decrease. That sucks. That's the thing, though, in this game. Events just pop up out of nowhere, be it good or bad. 
And speaking of which, I think, yep, our truce is over now. Alright, so now we're starting to make money again, but I'm sure it's going to change any second now. Let's increase um, administration spending all the way now, so hopefully that will eventually go up so we can start making more money. Our literacy went up to 5.6. Let's see, um, how much would it cost to fully... Oh, jeez, the reactors are coming. Oh, jeez, at Bangkok, too. Oh, God, no. Well, we're winning, thankfully, but now I got a supply, which I was just about to see how much it would cost. Not that much, thankfully. Thankfully, there are not too many of them in Bangkok, but they're fully supplied. Alright, now we're starting to kick their asses out. So once you guys get your supplies, you should hopefully head on out to kill the rest of them. But of course, you're probably not going to get your supplies here, so I probably have to send you out. I think I said there were four rebellions. Let's see. I don't, huh, I only see three. Unless there's two revolts. Unless one revolt me on province had like two revolters at once. And the last 2,000 are going to be taken care of in a second. And with that, taking a little... Oh man, they're losing a lot of losses too, Jesus. <laughs> Alright, so, finally took care of that, so head back home. And now we're going to cut your supplies. Pretty bad when you can't even afford, even just your na your troops you can't even afford to supply them. Um... Well, we gotta do that, even though our middle disease is gonna unfortunately go up. But right now, it's going down dramatically, which is very good. And so what about our. Okay, our. Um. Um, conscience is going down good, too. But very slowly in comparison. We still got. Okay, no re possible revolting right now. Alright, so, um. Oh jeez, I really want to get our ter my territories back, but I've got like really no way I'd be able to survive attacking either one of Burma or Dynam in like no position whatsoever. So I'm sure, yeah, you see our leadership score counts. So for all I know, my military score is actually eight, and for all I know, theirs could be 28. They could outnumber us easily, pretty much. It's pretty ridiculous. And of course. Can we build any more brigades? Nope, of course not. Hey, we could build a general. Yeah, well, okay, our military score didn't go up whatsoever. Hey, we're starting to make some money, too. So, we'll increase military spending a wee little bit. And we'll increase education, too. Alright, let's see. Now it's going up. Yep, two points. I mean, a point every five months now, exactly. God, I really need to get those territories back. I wanted to call me take you over, but I'm in no position now to do that. And of course, um, British still won't ally with us. China won't either. Like, I'm like, run of ideas what to maybe do. Of course, you just have grain, so you're not really that useful. Alright, then we'll increase the um, defense spending again. Man, we need to get... Oh, that's right, we got West Knights before I could do anything about getting possibly more money from the mines. Alright, so we're almost near the end of the year. Ooh, got another diplomatic point. So we'll do that on the British. Hopefully get closer to being feared by them. And we are now in 1848. As... Hmm, okay, so it's still at 10... I mean, only have 10 brigades. And of course our frigates are not doing so well either. Maybe I should... Well, I really don't want to get rid of them because that could actually help... Possibly, um, um, blockade, um, Dynam if we ever go to war, but two ships, that's not going to be really helpful that much. I'm sure they got a Navy strong enough to take them out, too, so. Oh, man, those two assholes put me in a pretty big hole, but nothing I can do about it, and I'm going to keep on going this game until game, um, doesn't mean a save file gets corrupted or we get annexed. I'm not going to give up that easily, so.